South Sudan's leaders are being urged by the UN Security Council Working Group on Children and Armed Conflict to expand their current action plan, to take a more comprehensive approach to preventing all violations and abuses against children. Led by the Swedish ambassador to the UN, Olaf Skoog, the delegation travelled to South Sudan to meet government officials, security forces, civil society and humanitarian agencies, as well as children forcibly recruited into armed forces. A child that has a real choice would never join in any armed conflict. That is a given. Um, unfortunately, the circumstances in South Sudan and elsewhere, South Sudan is not unique. Um, has forced children into the armed conflict for economic uh, pers uh, reasons or for being pressured in or abducted or kidnapped in or forced in. And regardless of the reasons for any child to have joined the armed forces, they are victims, always. At a press conference in the capital Juba, the ambassador urged the country's leaders to continue to release and reintegrate child soldiers into the community but he admits that further support is needed for this process. There is also a need for uh, a solid investment in social economic uh, development, schools, uh, health care services and protection also outside the armed conflict. Uh, the presence of uh, justice and uh, police etc. is an important aspect of all this. I understand that um, there is a uh, capacity issue here as well of course. But it's certainly my hope that as the country hopefully now moves away from conflict into peace, that um, the investments that have been made by the United Nations and other, uh, uh, and the government when it comes to humanitarian emergency relief, that it can be shifted into a more um, uh, you know, resilience, development, social economic investments in many of these uh, sites. The working group said the new peace agreement also provided a fresh chance for political leaders to improve the situation for children. I believe that the uh, peace agreement in its revitalised form uh, is an opportunity to turn the corner and to move forward when it comes to really and truly protecting the interests of the children of South Sudan. The working group has recommended the criminalisation of the six grave violations against children as part of an upcoming review of the Penal Code and the enhancement of accountability measures in South Sudan.